Welcome to our lesson for today. We are looking at systems technology and our focus is on software. We are going to explore some of the software terms and look at the different types of software that we have and be able to use the software effectively in our hardware. We've identified all of the different parts of um, your computer, your input devices, output devices, processing, but we all know that your computer is actually nothing without the software. So let's look at into the software. What is software? Now software are instructions that tell your computer what to do. Now to just highlight what is important today, what to do. Now what do we mean by what to do? Now we mean that without the software, your computer would actually not know what to do. So now this software will allow your computer to actually do what is meant to do by following these instructions which come in a form of a program. Now, basically when you look at um, your computer, when you use your computer, you are able to interact with your computer by clicking and scrolling and typing. But what allows all of that to happen is actually what we call a graphical user interface. Now, a graphical user interface, which in short we call GUI, right, is a screen like this where when you see the screen if I want to close I would actually click on this close button if I want to use a radio button I would actually select on a radio button or if I want to scroll or if I want to type I would type there so basically this picture here shows you your human and computer interaction so whenever you are using a computer you have to use or you have to have some sort of interaction with it and GUI is what allows you to actually interact with your computer now GUI is part of our software which comes with your um, operating system but now still new into this we'll explain more later on what is an operating system now GUI components there are icons you have toolbars you have menu and you have navigation radio buttons checkbox dialogs list as well as combo boxes and some of these you can actually find them here and you can see here we have close minimize as well as maximize so those are some of the GUI components that allows you to interact with your computer now the last one obviously minimizing restoring and resizing and closing windows which is this example here that shows you and you can also get it there and you can also get it there where you are able to close your window right then looking at some basic accessories that you actually get from your software you get a calculator you get your painting software and you get your snipping tool software so these are some of the software that come as basic accessories with your operating system so it's software that would allow you to do a specific uh, task as you can see your calculator you'd calculate paint you would draw cut down uh, pictures and then snipping tool would actually allow you to select a specific uh, portion of your screen uh, something that would act as a screen grabber right then we have now the different types of software it's very important to understand that we have your system software as well as your application software these two are our basic software but they differ in terms of functionality now your system software remember is the one that would come with your calculator as well as your paint and your snipping tool so now what does this system software do it controls and it coordinates operations in your computer now examples your windows you can never use a computer if you did not install your windows whether you have windows xp whether you have windows 8 or windows 7. now another example would be your linux 
which is normally a free software uh, which you get for your um, operating system. Then the second one is your application software. Now your application software are there to perform specific set of tasks. Right, in your application software, you get applications such as your office suite where you are able to use your Word, Excel, uh, other financial applications, designing, as well as gaming entertainment. So those were some of the examples of your application software as well as system software. And I think that is it for today. Thank you. We'll see you next time.